George Tamiz the New York Times President John F. Kennedy in 1962. President Trump took to Twitter Saturday to announce that he is ordering the release of all federal files related to the assassination of John F. Kennedy, while redacting the names and addresses of any living person who is mentioned in the files. In a series of tweets, Trump said he consulted with his chief of staff, John Kelly, the CIA, and other agencies before making his decision. He said he was releasing the files in the interest of full disclosure, transparency, and to put all conspiracy theories to rest. Earlier this week, Trump allowed the release of about 2,800 documents relating to the slaying of the 35th president. However, he kept hundreds of records about the assassination hidden from the public. Trump ordered the federal departments that had wanted redactions because of security concerns to re-review the information they deemed too sensitive for public consumption in the next 108 days. After strict consultation with General Kelly, the CIA and other agencies, I will be releasing all JFK files other than the names and Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 28, 2017, addresses of any mentioned person who is still living. I am doing this for reasons of full disclosure, transparency and Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 28, 2017, in order to put any and all conspiracy theories to rest, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 28, 2017 In another tweet Saturday, Trump appeared to suggest that the remaining files that were not made available to the public earlier this week had been released. JFK files are released, long ahead of schedule, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 28, 2017 A message left with the National Archives was not immediately returned Saturday night. Danny McDonald can be reached at daniel.mcdonald at globe.com. Follow him on Twitter at Danny underscore underscore McDonald.